Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printer here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to extend your Flask admin interface to have something on this home tab that's enabled right now, but is blank. Now I'll also show you how to add additional tabs, which are views and Flask admin. So the first thing I'll do is I'll edit the home tab and editing this is actually really simple. I'll show you how to do that right now. You simply have to create a file in a certain location. So what I'm going to do is add a file to a certain directory. And before I do that, let me tell you about the two directories I added. I added a static directory, which has a CSS file that I'll be using. And then I added a templates directory. Inside that, I have this admin directory for admin templates. And I'm going to create a file called index.html. So by simply creating that file, you'll notice that everything goes away. That's because Flask admin takes that file and runs it as the home view for your interface. So if you don't extend the original view or extend the original HTML file, then you get nothing. So to extend the file, you simply have to add extends admin slash master.html. So you don't have to actually include this anywhere. It's implicitly included, but you do have to extend it. So just make sure the file is in the admin directory in your templates directory and you name it index.html and that will control your home tab. So I'll save this and I'll run it again. And now we see that the bar is back. So what I wanna do now is I want to edit some of the blocks that are in this master.html file. So here are the possibilities here. Um, I have this link up for the Flask admin docs. I'll put a link to this in the description below so you can see this as well. But basically, these are the things that you can extend, that you can um, edit. And what I'll be editing today are the head CSS block and the body block. So first, let me show you what happens when you extend the body block. So I'll add this block body and then in block body and by the way if you're not familiar with Jinja then I suggest you look at videos on how to work with Jinja first because this is just the Jinja template language that's included in Flask so if I extend the block and say hello there uh, let's make this a header h1 and I'll change this to h1 and save it and go here. Now I see I have something on the home tab. So now what I want to do is I want to extend the CSS. So I'll do block head CSS and then I'll in the block. And I'm doing this because I want to include an extra CSS file. So head underscore CSS. And let me just copy the file that I'm interested in or the link to the file and I'll save it. So I'll save that and I'll refresh the screen. But when I do that, the style gets messed up. So the reason why that's happening is because I'm overwriting the things in the original head CSS block. So to get around that, I simply add something called super. So what that does is it takes all the content in the original block. So the original head CSS has like three or four CSS includes, and it puts them in this block. So this is basically three or four uh, link statements, and then I have mine. So now that I save that and I refresh, I get the style back. And the reason why I wanted to do that was because I wanted to just put a nice example of something in there. So let me just add this. This is basically just a way of saying that uh, some new comments are available. It won't actually do anything, but it's just for visual purposes. And you notice I don't have a super here because the original master.html body block doesn't have anything in it, but it doesn't hurt to put super here just in case you wanted to modify that directly. So I'll save that and I'll refresh. And I am missing one thing. I am missing bootstrap three. So right now it defaults to bootstrap two in Flask admin. So to get around that, I simply have to change the template mode when I initialize Flask admin. So here um, where I do admin and it takes in the app, 
I add another parameter called template mode and I pass in bootstrap three. So when I save that and refresh, now it looks different because I'm using bootstrap three instead of the default of bootstrap two. So just keep that in mind if you wanna use uh, bootstrap three uh, with Flask admin because bootstrap two is included by default. So now the next thing I wanna do is I wanna add another tab here representing another view in the admin interface. So to do this, it follows along the same pattern as all the other views. So down here I have um, set view, exercise view. What I wanna add now is, uh, let's say, uh, notify view or notifications view, how about that? And it's going to inherit base view, but I have to include base view. So I'll go up here from Flask admin, import base view. And I also want to import something called expose, which I'll show you in a second. So now that I have base view included, I can inherit from it. And then I'm going to expose it. So expose on the root, and then I'll give the endpoint later once I actually add the view. Whoops, wrong key. And then I want to define an index. So this is a class, so I need to pass in self. And then I'm going to render a template file for this new view. So let's say return self.render. And I'm going to put a file in the admin directory and I'm going to call it uh, notify.html. And if I can spell correctly, notify.html. And that's it. So let me create the notify file. So notify.html. And this is going to extend this master template as well. So I can get that top bar with everything in it. So I'll just add that without including anything else for the moment. And then finally, now that I have this notifications view, I need to add the view down here. So admin, add view, uh, notifications view. I'll give it a name, I'll call it notifications. And then the endpoint, notify. So the endpoint is of course going to be whatever after the URL. So like if I go to the user, I get slash user. And I think my app crashed. Uh, yeah, it did crash. So let me just fix the bug here. Something with indentation. So let me try to run this again. Okay, so it looks like it's fine. So anyway, uh, now that I have the notifications view, I can click on it. And of course it's empty because I haven't added anything to it yet, but we see that it's uh, in the top navigation bar. And all I had to do was add a view for notifications right here, exposing this notify.html on the root and then adding this endpoint notify. So now what I wanna do is I want to uh, just create a simple block body, just like I did for the home view. So in block body, and I have something from Flask, or not Flask, but Bootstrap admin. So let me just throw that in there, um, just to make it look nice. So it's going to be a list of notifications that are awaiting whoever the admin is. So that's what I've added in here. So I'll save that and I'll refresh. And if I go to notifications, I now see some notifications that are made up. So this is just one way you can extend Flask admin. You can have your own custom views that aren't necessarily based off anything in your model, but something that the admins would be interested in seeing. So something like notifications, or in this case, like new comments. So that's it for this video. Uh, I pretty much showed you how to add more views to Flask Admin. Like I said, I'll include this link in the description below so you can see the other blocks that you can modify in Flask Admin.
And that's it for this video. So if you have any questions about adding views or editing views in Flask Admin, I'll just leave a comment down below and I'll get to it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you next time.